Hi everybody, it's Billy here from Billy English and today I want to tell you about an exciting new application called Elsa Speak that can help you improve your English pronunciation in a really short time. They approached me because they know I have a passion for English pronunciation and they wanted me to get the word out about their product. I think you will love it. It's a great app. So without any further ado, let's have a look at the application. Make sure you check out the description box below because there's a little gift for you, a promo code. If you want to subscribe to that product, you get a really nice discount. So make sure to check it out. Let's have a look at the app now. Okay, let's have a look at the Elsa Speak app now. This is the app icon on my phone and I'm going to open it right now. So it's just loading and it will take us to the main menu first. Okay, so this is the main menu and I want you to have a look at the bottom because that is um, the menu bar. You've got skills on the left hand side, explore, coach. We are in the coach section. You can see this because it's white. Then we have study sets and profile. Now I want us to have a look at the skills section because I think that's a really good section and there are lots of really useful lessons here. So I'm just going to circle it so that everybody can find it. It's down here, okay? So let me just quickly click on the skills and there we go. We're in the middle. You can see it says skill 14, 15. So I'm just gonna go right to the top Okay, there we go. Skill number one. And you can see that different sounds are practiced in the different skill sections. Skill number one is looking at the consonant sounds P, T and K. Skill number two is looking at consonant clusters. Now, this is another thing that I really like about ELSA. It's not just about individual sounds, but also groups of sounds clusters especially for consonants they can be quite tricky um, then if we scroll further down um, we've got some more consonants nasal sounds mm, mm, mm. Um, then we've got some vowel sounds coming up and you can see i've been practicing and using the app a lot because obviously i wanted to have a look at it you can see my score here and if we go further down you can see lots of different sounds are being practiced also some mixed skills. Now, um, I'm just gonna go up again here to show you this for skill number one. So you can see um, it tells us here seven out of 45. So in total, there are 45 lessons to practice those three consonant sounds and I've covered seven of those. So that's quite nice if you just wanna have a look a little bit as to how much there is and how much you have done. So there are really over 1,500 lessons on the app. It's really amazing. So there is lots and lots to practice for all the different areas of sounds. Now, we're just gonna go right to the bottom because there's one skill that I think is really great and that is linking sounds. I think it's really important for um, learners of English not just to master the individual sounds but also to learn how to link in between the words because that's such a such an important feature of English. Okay so I'm going to click on linking sounds and you can see there are 29 lessons in total and first of all it gives you a little introduction here on linking sounds and it tells you in English it's common to connect words together without any silence between them to help you sound more natural. For example, good evening is linked and becomes good evening. And the D sound from good really joins the word evening. So it's really like good evening, good evening. So we're going to practice this a little bit more. I'm going to click on got it and it takes us to the different lessons now, okay? You can see I've been busy practicing here, 93% almost native. <laughs> um, and here are the different linking lessons, okay? So there are many different lessons. I'm just gonna scroll down so you can see how many in total. So, and the different um, levels often are dedicated to different topics. So here it's linking consonants to vowels. So let's just have a look at the very um, one of the very first lessons. I'm going to choose lesson two, linking m and f together. Okay, 
There we some go. Of. So here we here here we have a have an example. Some and of. You can see the phonemic transcript underneath. You could listen to it again. Some of. You can also listen to it in in a slower way by clicking on this little snail icon here. Some of. I think that can be quite helpful because you first obviously need to have a very good listen so you can hear the difference and then you can repeat it, okay? Um, you could also watch other people say this. This is really quite nice because this um, application is linked up to Youglish um, and it shows you different clips where people actually use some and off together in a sentence. But let's first of all practice this. I'm going to click on the microphone icon and say this myself and then you can see what happens. Some of. Okay, and instantly I get some feedback. Excellent, you sound like a native speaker. Well, I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> and you can see your result. Now, of course, there could also be um, a mistake. Maybe one of the sounds isn't right. And then the application would give me feedback instantly. I'm going to try this out in a moment. Some of them are here. Okay, so now it's a whole little sentence that I have to say. So let's just practice this. I might just pretend to not quite uh, say it correctly so you can see what happens. Some of them are here. Oh, still correct. <laughs> I can't really get it wrong. Um, but it gives you instant feedback. You can listen to it again. I'm just going to show you now um, what um, happens when I click on watch other people say this. Okay, so here's the dictionary. And here is a little excerpt of President Obama speaking and he actually um, says something and some of is a part of his sentence. So let's just watch. And some of them are here with me today. So and here you have a real life some of them are example of somebody using some of in a sentence. And of course you could click your way through if you've ever tried Youglish, you know how it works. And you can hear a lot more examples where people use some of. So that is, of course, fantastic. I think it's really nice that the application links up with Youglish. Okay, let's have a look at one other skill. This is skill 11. Here we've got two vowel sounds, E and I. So a long and a short vowel sound. This can be quite tricky for Spanish speakers. So we're just going to have a look at what you can practice in here. So I open up um, this section. You can see here's a little introduction to find out more about these vowel sounds. It links you up with some YouTube videos from a couple of YouTubers and they tell you more about long E and short E. I'm just going to click on next now. And we are in the sound introduction section here. And I um, just want to have a look at the very first lesson here, lesson one in level one. Now you can see in lesson one, First of all, you're just going to practice hearing the difference. It's really important that you can hear the difference before you try and pronounce it correctly and say the difference because if you can't hear it, it's going to be very difficult to pronounce it right. So let's just click on this icon. And first of all, we need to listen to this word. So tap to listen. Eat. And now we need to say which sound is correct. It. Eat. So which of these two corresponds to the word above? Now, I think it's the second one. You can, of course, listen as often as you want. Let's just check. Yes, that's right, because eat is long. You can see it here again spelled and also with its phonemic transcript. Eat has a long E sound. It, that is the pronoun, and that's a short I. Sit. Okay, again here we've got two words. Now we need to say which word we heard. So sit, I think that's the first one. Yes, okay, perfect. So of course nothing happens if you tap the wrong one. You can listen again and try it out more. So first will you go through this listening practice here 
and then you can practice pronouncing E and A. So let's have a look at that next. Okay, so I'm back on the main menu for this skill with E and E, and I'm going to choose lesson four, words with E and E. We. We. Which. And this is a short E here. Which. This. This. And so forth. So there are many more words to come to practice E and I individually for words first. Now I want us to have a look at one more section also for E and I um, where we focus a little bit more on the stress within the word. So let's have a look at that next. Okay, so we're back here. This is now level two. And you can see here we practice words, phrases and sentences with E and E. And lesson two is really about stressing different words. And it's about the word stress within each of these words. So let's have a look here. And you can also see it tells you this is quite easy. Lesson number one, medium. And there's also lesson number four, difficult, because those are full sentences. Um, but we're going to have a look first of all at lesson two. So let's listen to this word first of all. Between. And you can see the part of the word that is spelled a little bit bigger and that is also green when you click on it. Between. That is the one that carries the main stress and now we have to practice saying it. So let's have a go. Between. Very good, okay. I always get a good result, so I'm very happy, of course. <laughs> Something. Okay, very good. So you can, of course, try again if you get it wrong. There's no problem with that. Um, and you can always listen to it. Country. Country. Okay, and practice all of these words first. Let's have a look at the phrases and the sentences because they are a little bit more advanced. So here we have little phrases with I and E, for example, eat lunch. Let's just listen to it and practice saying it. Eat lunch. Eat lunch. Okay, let's do one more. It was. It was. Okay, so there will be more phrases coming up next. Let's have a look at the full sentences now. So the sentences here is lesson four. You can say it's a little bit more difficult, of course, because it's a whole sentence, not just a word or a little short phrase. Let's eat lunch soon. Let's practice saying that. Let's eat lunch soon. Okay, very good. Now you could also move from regular to advanced and that would give you even more precise feedback on the other sounds. I'm going to keep it to regular because I think regular is important if you really just want to focus on these two sounds, E and E. And I always think it's good to go one step at a time. Now, last but not least, in this section for E and A, there are also lessons where you can have full little conversations with Elsa. So, for example, here, lesson five, any tips for making them different? So, let's just practice that so you can see what happens here. Okay, I have a pronunciation quiz for you. So this is what Elsa said, and then you can see we are having a diff little dialogue here, and this is what I'm supposed to answer now. So it says, yeah, I'm ready, what is it? But I have to record myself, of course. I'm ready, what is it? 
okay and you get feedback on the word ready and that's what's the difference in pronunciation of the words feet and fit good question i think they have a different vowel sound that's correct the word feet has an e sound while the word fit has an i sound Okay, you can of course read over this first before you try saying it, okay? That's what I thought. Any tips for making those vowel sounds different? One useful thing to focus on is muscle tension. It's a very good tip, I think. Interesting, what do you mean exactly? Muscles of the mouth and tongue are a bit tense. For I, they're relaxed. Excellent. Okay, so on and on it goes. We can have a whole little dialogue. And we're not just talking about E and I. We're actually practicing E and I because within the, within the dialogue, you can see there the words mean, different, etc. And all of these words contain E or I. So you really get to practice having a little conversation and you get immediate feedback from Elsa on your pronunciation, which I think is really a fantastic tool. Right, now, apart from the skills um, section, and, and you can see the skills section covers a lot. You can practice all of the sounds of English. You have mixed skills, diphthong, intonation, um, ending sounds and um, then also if you go further down you've got dropping consonants this is really important so lots and lots of things are covered in the skill section but there is of course more because if you have a look again at the bottom we also have next to skills the explore section um, the coach section and this is really your own personal coach can do a little test before you start so that whatever Elsa suggests you practice is really personalized for you and the coach basically keeps track how you're doing and what you need to practice on so this is really useful and there is a lot more in this app also for study sets that I'm going to tell you more about in the next video so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on the next video with some more tips on how you can use Elsa to improve your English pronunciation well, I hope you've enjoyed this video review of Elsa Speak. Make sure to check it out. Remember, there's a link below in the description box where you get a really nice discount on their product. And if you try it out, let me know how it goes. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you as always.